So this one, we had an idea about how our concept of God ch tends to change as we grow and evolve, both personally and as a culture or even a species. Now, everybody here knows about string theory, right? Right? Okay. This is called A Brief History of God or G-String Theory. In the beginning, there was lots of competition. Goddesses and gods of every disposition. Merciful, mean, laid back and hyper. And little baby gods that flew around in diapers. Animals, pranksters, destroyers, creators. Flute players, lute players, nymphs and satyrs. So many gods, it was hard to keep them sorted. God had multiple personality disorder. <laughs> well, keeping track of all these gods was no fun. And finally, some people said, let's cut it down to one. But the one god was angry, always finding fault. There was banishment and floods and pillars of salt. Well, why was God traumatized at an early age by standing too close to the Big Bang? Was it nature or nurture or Satan's little goblins? God had anger management problems. Well, there were other issues that mess with serenity, like this long-term question of sexual identity, the feminine, divine, or the male autonomous. God was so confused. Am I androgynous? And then on top of that, what was challenging the most was trying to figure out what the heck's the Holy Ghost. And God needed time off and checked into a clinic Poor old God was becoming schizophrenic. <laughs> While in for treatment, God sent some folks to teach us, like Krishna and Buddha, Muhammad and Jesus. On some things they agree, on other things they don't. And if you choose the wrong one, some say your soul is toast. Now everybody's praying by all these different rules. Muslims five times a day, Buddhists quite a few, Hindus and Christians whenever there's a need, and Unitarians would rather plant a tree. Now God's come a long way from that early dysfunction, and now science has brought us to this beautiful junction. The key to the theory is that every single thing is made up entirely of vibrating strings. Well, this is what musicians have known all along. The universe is really just one big song. And there you have it, friends. That's the story so far. We're all just musical strings in God's big guitar. We're all just God strings, G strings, and the cosmic guitar. <laughs>